In Africa, as in Amazonia, the forest is the primal source of all magic and the terrestrial residence of the spirits. Complex rituals are dedicated to trees and animals of all sorts. A visiting white man would do well to participate in these rituals and, if necessary, feign belief. If not, he might be abandoned by the guides accompanying his expedition or hunting party. Ammunition, bullets, one of the white man's most unfortunate contributions to the world, has already managed to enter the witch doctor's magic circle. The spasmodic movements of a decapitated chicken will decide what the immediate future has in store. If its agony carries it outside the circle, a dark cloud hovers over the expedition. If its pathetic tottering brings it inside with its claws pointing toward the cartridges, the future will be bright. see magic in action. While the white man is busy estimating the value of the elephant's ivory tusks, his guide makes a grigri, or charm bracelet, out of some hairs plucked from the animal's tail. The bracelet is considered a talisman, a charm for bringing luck to future hunting trips. are removed by a simple carrier who took no real part in the killing. The elephant spirit must not see its assassin. The fear of vengeance is so great that the eyes, although removed, are covered with large leaves. Fear is an equitable price to pay for this offense against the earth's greatest land animal. Before the carvers begin their gory task, the guide ends the ritual by dipping the elephant's tail into some of its own blood, spraying the air, the earth, and the plants of the surrounding forest. This is an act of reconciliation and atonement. And yet, no amount of sacrificial blood can make one forget that twitching eye ripped from its socket and hidden so quickly. In the end, no amount of religion, ritual, or custom can justify man's cruelty or camouflage his cowardice and shame. (laughs) 